Hey everyone, this is Aubrey from Peace by Peace Living and today I wanted to show you how I organize my electronic cords. Normally they are all jumbled up and I have no clue which cord goes to what or what the cord is. So I try to organize my cords um, using a photo album box. And I believe, I actually got this from my mom because she wasn't using it, but I believe she got this box at Michael's. So um, you need a few things to organize this. You need the photo album box, and then preferably you're going to need a label maker. My mom got this label maker about, oh, I don't know, like six or so years ago, but it is the P-Touch label maker. They also sell the cartridges for this at Costco, I believe. So prior to organizing my electronic cords with this method, I just had a random box that I got from Michaels and I literally put all my cords into one box. So when I needed to find a cord, I couldn't and half the time I didn't know what was even in the box. So that method of just throwing everything into one box does not work. And the reason why I like this method is because for the photo album box, it has individual containers within the larger container. So what I did is I just put items that were similar into one container and then I labeled that appropriately. And then I put the containers in alphabetical order. So for me, the first one starts with Apple and the last one ends with wall charger. So I have a few cores that I actually need to add to this container, so I wanted to show you how I do that. So before I start, I just wanted to give you a few examples of different items that you can put inside your individual cases. What I like to do before I do anything is to take all of the items out and then group them by light categories. And once I figure out all of the categories, then I will go ahead and use my label maker to label all of the individual cases. So here I'm just going through some of my cases that I've labeled. This one right here is for flash drives. This photo keeper box does come with 16 individual cases. So because it has so many, it's fine if one box only has one item, <laughs> like one of my HDMI boxes. So um, if you have a lot of stuff, then maybe the 16 boxes won't be enough. But for someone like me, uh, 16 boxes or 16 cases was plenty. And of course you have to have a miscellaneous box filled with some random stuff that you have no clue how to categorize like earplugs, which isn't even an electronic item, but somehow it ended up in one of these boxes. And here I just have a box full of wall chargers because we always have too many. And those are just some examples of things you can put inside your 16 individual cases. So moving on to actually making a case and labeling it, I just purchased a smartwatch and wanted to put my smartwatch charger cord inside one of these boxes. That way I don't lose it because that charger is very unique. So here I'm using my label maker and I just went ahead and printed out my label and then I just cut off the excess and then I'm going to find an empty box and place the label as centered as possible. If you don't get it right the first time, that's perfectly fine. I hardly ever do. You can just take it off and reapply it and if worse comes to worse, you can just print out a new label. Now that the case is labeled, I'm going to place my smartwatch charger inside and close it and then place it inside the photo box in alphabetical order. And that's pretty much it. You're good to go. Nice and organized. All right, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this quick video on how I organize my electronic cords using a photo album container. <laughs>